Hi, everybody. It's Diana. Hey, I am not showing myself today. It's not been a good day. And I'm a sight for sore eyes. So it's just going to be talking hands. <laughs> um, I want to welcome you to this week's um, Mimeograph Monday. And what I was going to do... Um, so basically, Mimeograph Monday, I just... Um, do stuff out of the catalog and what I was gonna do um, was something simple because I'm still on this stupid knee scooter and I can't I get a little frustrated I probably have been swearing like a sailor and um, anyway so I can't I can't do shit oh sorry oh my gosh I can't even I can't even believe I just swore oh my gosh I'm like it's just anyways okay so let's just get started <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Oh, I guess you've heard worse than that. But anyway, so let me go over this. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to show this. So it's this fun little thing here. So I was fiddle farting with it, and then I dropped the thing on the floor, and I can't pick it up, and oh my gosh. So then I cursed and I cried. And... And so what we're going to do instead, so it's basically this, but I love the look of this, right? It is so cute because it shows off the the um, <clears throat> the front and the back of the DSP. It's so cute. But So I don't know if that's how they did it or not, but it might not be. So instead what we're going to do is I want you to get out. Hi, hey, Candy, Karen, Ian, Jeannie. Um, I want you to get out your catalog. And I want you to ask me, like there might be a card or something. And then I have my the recipes off on my computer. So then you might go, hey, look on page, whatever, whatever. What What is that? Blah, blah, blah. And then we'll figure it out. So that's what we're going to do for a little bit. I can't sit super long. Ugh. Anyways, so because I don't think this is, is right. Because I'm anal, so I just did stuff with my Simply Scored. I had a piece of um, square um, cardstock in there. I'm just not very, um, <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. That's not math. But anyways, all right, so don't forget about the hostess code, my country incentive goodies or guts. Um, double rewards are still going on. I also added for my goodies that you can um, win for the month of October. I ordered, I added the cute Halloween DSP and the Christmas um, peppermint DSP. So make sure you go to the blog post because um, there's like the three different ways that you can um, earn the tickets. So you can earn a ticket for each order placed in October. And I put this on my blog today. There's a sale coming for one day only on October the 20th. So it's, um, where's my piece of paper? Oh, here it is. All right. Um, it is, so there's, if you go to my blog, you can print out the, um, flyer. So it shows all of the stamps. Now, the flyer shows different languages, too. But, um, so it's not like. Um, this many pages because some of them see this is other languages here see French 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 um, so anyways so it's all the playing except the hostess sets in the main catalog so that is super fun so for 24 hours only so what's great is I have my double rewards going on and I also have the um, country giveaway stuff going on so it's like extra extra great deal for you right and then of course the goodies are the guts all right so like i talked about the other day um so you can earn a ticket for each order placed in october so if you place three orders in october in my store that would give you three tickets and then if you go to the blog post the original blog post and comment you would get a ticket and then if you comment on the original youtube you would get a ticket so um so anyways and then i'll draw those november the second during my teach me tuesdays um thing my um teach me tease me live so um 
so anyways so yeah so it's just it's just i'm just i don't know how people handle a serious illness because i'm not doing well with this one bit i thought oh this would be so much easier than when i had my hysterectomy not really like not really so anyways and i told jeff i said we are so lucky that he had me rent the scooter and not buy it because if I owned that scooter, it would be up in flames when this is over because I detest it. I mean, I'm glad someone invented it, but I hate it. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So anyways, let's talk fun stuff. Hey, Candy, Jeannie, Lily, Karen, Jeannie M, Karen, Candy. So yeah, so enough of that crazy talk. But, so this is what I was going to do. So I still might do that for, for another day. But, um, so anyway, so I was looking through and then I thought, oh, I always wanted to do that little DSP thing. And I thought it'd be quick and it, it got me frustrated. So I am going, I want you to, because I only want to do this for, for just a little while. So if you have your catalog and there's a card that you want me to tell you how it was made, um, or, you know, what was used. Because sometimes it's a little confusing. And then, like I said, off camera, um, or on my computer, the laptop, I have the recipes, print, like not, not printed, because there's lots of pages, but I have them pulled up. So that I can pull it up by the page. Hi, Cindy. And um, explain to you, you know, what was used. So this is what I mean by a recipe. So this is what the recipes look like. So this is just in my catalog. All right, so let's do, let's look at this one. All right, so like say you go, oh, page 53. So I go to page 53, let's pretend page 53. So this is what I do when I do my mimeograph. So I go through the mimeograph and I go, oh, I wanna make this card right here. Isn't that a beautiful card? Oh my gosh, I love that. And I wanna make that card, but so sometimes you can tell, like I can, like sometimes I'm, I know that's a DSP and I know that ribbon, but you know, we're not sure what this is. And then this is probably a die. So then I go over to my recipes. Hey, Nancy. Um, and I go over to the recipes on the, uh, on my computer. I print it out and then it usually is two recipes per page. <clears throat> so see that? And then it tells me, Okay, so it's a Nature's Beauty, Nature's Beauty Cling Stamp Set and Inspired Thoughts Cling Set. So then you go, oh, well, that's where the greeting came from. And that's right on, you know, the next page. They don't always, aren't always right next to each other, but that was when those two are. And then it talks about the neutral paper, the cardstock, and there's the paper. So it was, it's the bloom where you're planted, 12 by 12 paper. And I pretty much, um, you know, figured that out in my head. <laughs> but this is beautiful paper. And then um, basic white, soft suede classic. So I kind of figured that out. Um, crumb cake. Oh, this is the ink. Bup, bup, bup. Hang on a minute. Um, Blue Marie Planted. Basic white. Oh, so they just said neutrals. So then you just kind of have to figure it out. So some of the recipes are a little bit better that they do say, um, like the colors. So this, I'm just gonna guess is probably Sahara or um, crumb cake. And you see, I haven't done my nails yet either. Um, and the ink was soft suede, crumb cake blends were used and the soft succulent classic pad. So super cool. So then that totally makes sense, right? Let me scoot down so you can see, because I'm not sitting at my normal spot. They also use the mini glue dots, dimensionals, stamp and seal, and then the old olive, pretty peacock um, reversible ribbon. This ribbon is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it just said the instructions were use trimmer or paper snips to snip the corners of their whisper white panel. So this right here, they just used snips. It's not even a die, but you totally could. You could use a die with that, right? And make it even more simpler. 
And then this one, it says card base size note card. So then you know it's smaller. So this is um, probably a three and a half by five, I believe, is a note card size. But what I have learned when I've been doing the mimeograph is sometimes the instructions aren't quite accurate. And I have done that on some of the... Um, some of the past mimeographs, I will explain to you that, okay, it says this in the catalog, but you know, that part wasn't right because when I actually got to making the card, it, it wasn't correct. So then, you know, then that fixes it up. Here's another one I have in here. So what I did was I basically, I sat with my catalog one day and I was just like, oh, well, I would like to make this little badger card one day. So then I printed my paper out and then I just stick it in my, in my, um, in my catalog. And then I just kind of flip through and I've already got them printed out. Now, sometimes people will say, oh, could you show, you know, um, a card on, you know, I want to know how you make this card or that card. And then I'll, I'll find that out. So I just figured if there's any um, any card in the main catalog. Oh, so here, here's Raquel asked me about this one. Now this one is from another catalog that's retired. So I didn't get it done before the catalog retired. Um, so I have just stuck this in here because I know I won't be, it won't be a mimeograph, right? Because these things we don't have anymore, but I still could show show that so I just kind of have those things stuck in I miss you too Nancy oh these kind of keep me kind of from going off my rocker to be honest poor Jeff oh my gosh I got that stupid wheelie thing stuck I was, couldn't get around something the other day and I just screamed at the top of my lungs I had like a I just screamed from frustration and he come running in there I think I was like, oh my gosh, he probably thought I fell or something. And I says, I'm just, I'm frustrated. Ugh. All right. So if there's anything that you want to see out of here, I also put the recipe, The I pulled the recipes up for the mini catalog because I had those two. And I think the mini catalog one, um, it even has more that are, are kind of less. So I, I know I've done this one before I love that one so you definitely want to um check back if you look if you go to my um if you look on the YouTube when you pull up the videos right above the video name and underneath the video picture there's hashtag things and if you click on those hashtags it will take you to like, I have a hashtag stamping with dye, so it'll take you to all the, the things that I've hashtagged on YouTube that has stamping with dye. But then I have it hashtag Mimeograph Monday. So if you click on that Mimeograph Monday, um, I don't wanna move the phone. I think you can see it, right? Like it's underneath this video. Um, if you click on that Mimeograph Monday, it will pull up all my Mimeograph Mondays as long as I put that hashtag in there. So, um, oh, brew some fun. Okay, okay, hold on. All right. So Karen wants page 33, brew some fun. All right. Okay, brew some page. Oh, wait, let me get the other catalog. I was looking in that one. All right, so hold on a minute. Page 33. Page 33, brew some fun. I don't see, oh, right here, page 33. I'm blind. All right, so brew some fun. Okay. Um, the coffee holder. All right. So, Shireen, if you are a demonstrator, they are where the catalogs are. Um, on the demonstrator side of the website, if you go to the catalogs, there's a thing that says um, catalog recipes underneath there. Um, so, that's where you know, where it is. Okay, so let's see, so page 33. All right, so let me open up my, so now I gotta watch through my phone, cause I'm gonna have to go back and forth. 
All right, so page 33. So then I just have to scroll, 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 scroll. I wish I could, wish my printer was on my desk. All right, hang on. So I'm going to page 33. Thirty-three. All right. So the brew some fun cling stamp set. Because now I can't see my YouTube um, channel, so I'm just going to read this. So it's the brew some fun. The paper is crumb cake, blushing bride. Um, it also uses the mini coffee cups. And those carried over. Um, you're a peach twelve by twelve. And the basic white cardstock. The ink was Granny Apple Green and Crumb Cake. And the tools were um, mini Stampin' Dimensionals and the warm wrap dies. And the embellishments were Playful Pets um, Trim Combo Pack. And it says instructions. Oh, look at this. Contact DS for instructions for how to make the box around the coffee cup. Well, isn't that fun? All right, so hang on. Let me get back to the thing. Um, all right, so that probably didn't help you, Karen, did it? All right, so where is... Do I have Post-its over here? Hang on a minute. Let me see. Oh, I know I had Post-its. I had Post-its. I have a whole stack of post-its. Now I can't find them. Ugh. Not going to swear. Oh, here they are. All right. Okay, so Karen. All right, so Karen. I'm going to put a post-it and coffee holder. All right, so I'm going to contact Stampin' Up and see if I can't get more information on that, okay? So I'm just gonna stick that on my book so that will stick out there, okay? All right, um, page 26. Enjoy the moment. So isn't this fun? I hope it is. It's better than laying in bed feeling sorry for yourself. All right, so let's see here. Enjoy the moment, top right center. Top right center. So that's this one, is that right, Cindy? Yeah, that will give you something to work on for sure. Um, is this the one in top right center? Because that's what I'm thinking. So, so hang on. Okay. Um, so let me go back to my... I wish I had... I wish I was able to have the YouTube stay up the same time as as this PDF. And now I'm on my tablet or my laptop, so it's way small. Like usually I have my um, laptop feeds this huge monitor because I'm so blind. Um, okay, so here we go. So this card right here, um, it's a note card. So that is also saying it's a note card. Um, paper is crumb cake and basic white. The ink is rich razzleberry. Sahara Sand, Cinnamon Cider, Misty Moonlight, and Soft Succulent. And those are all the classic ink pads. And then they use Stampin' Dimensionals and Blending Brushes. So see that, um, you know, that, that would be Cinnamon Cider is blended on there. And then all that stuff would be stamped over top of that. Um, the flowers for every season is the ribbon combo. I love that ribbon combo. And that's where that ribbon comes from. And tools. Now, I do believe this. See, I would have to stamp that to know if that was a die or if they just cut that. Um, and then uh, there. So that's all that it said on that one. All right, so hold on a minute. All right, so did that did that answer your your questions at all, Cindy, on that one? Um, you're welcome. All right, I should I if I'd have known I was gonna like 
drop stuff on the floor and couldn't pick it up, couldn't figure out, you know, something simple, I would have had you send me, <laughs> send me um, your request earlier. But this is kind of fun because then it's almost like we're chatting, you know, <sighs> kind of. All right. Um, yes, it is so, and you could use this with so many other colors. Like, I would love to see this with um this set hang on a minute with the um with this one page this is in the mini catalog hang on a minute page page 43 do the same technique same colors just change your stamp set and this card right here could be turned into a Christmas card so easily. Let me scoot up. I'm too close. So don't you think that this would look beautiful with that? You know, because you'd have your, you know, your leaves. This could be your branches. You've got your um, poinsettias. I think that would be awesome, you know, using that. So that's what I love having, having the catalogs because... You know, they're, they are so filled with so many ideas. You can just mix and match, you know, just get the layout of a card. I love, love, love that. Um, yes, so that's a good one. So that one is good. Um, let's see, I'll put Cindy. So you figured that one out. So maybe I'll make one one day. I don't know if I'll do it on a on a live but I might so I'm just putting my little post-its on my catalog <laughs> all right so um anybody else have have one that they're always wondering about because sometimes it is hard to tell the colors of things um with the catalog even though the the um the catalog has has come an amazing way you know since the beginning of the catalogs and the samples are just like every year get better and better and better. Oh, okay. All right. Um, it won't be today. <laughs> oh, so, but, so I have that, I have the post-it, post-it note on there. All right. So let's see here. Center. Right. Okay. Um, and I need to contact Diaz on that because I don't even think I'd want to try Karen to figure that out on my own I mean I'm thinking it's just a box I mean when I'm looking at it it looks like it's just a box and then that comes around but but then when I look here it looks like they have cut the paper um, remember when I cut the paper for the scarecrow and I sliced it so that it bent around. And that's what that almost looks like. Okay. I remember when Stampin' Up! put the recipes, yes, in the back of the catalog for everybody. Um, they stopped because that was um, extra weight, right? Plus it took, um, it took real estate, you know, like from the catalog. And I think they're trying to keep the catalogs under a certain weight so that when we mail them, they don't cost a fortune to mail because it is expensive you know for mailing and then this way you know the recipes are still there you just have to um you know if you're a demonstrator you know you can you can go get them um or you know you just contact your demonstrator and then i can um send you the recipe so you know but it sure helps figure out you know how things are made just because you know, it's like when you go to a class and you're like, I want to do it identical, you know, and that makes it easier. Look, I love this one too. Isn't that one cute? Oh, I love that. I love that one. I might have to, do I have that? I do. I have the tulips. Oh, another request. Karen, all right. Page 55, the pink baby card wildly adorable all right page 55 oh i did this card i did this card karen oh my gosh i'm like looking around i'm wondering do i have it hang on a minute 
All right, so I'm gonna go see if it's in one of my buckets. Hold on a minute. Oh, hold on. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm gonna go real quick, as quick as I can. I'm just gonna go look and see if I still kept one. Hold on a minute. If I fall, I'll break my neck. Call 911. All right, hold on. Oh, dear, 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 dear. I might not have any more. I might have just give it away. Oh, I don't see it. No, all right, I turn that over. Ugh. But I did, I did that one. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Uh, I did the, uh, Karen, I did that baby car on a mimeograph one day. Hang on a minute. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think. Can I go to my channel? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. As long as I don't mess with... Um my phone. All right. So hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I'm going to find that baby card really quick and then I'll put the link in here. All right. So, so, so anyone else that has, has a, um, a request, put it on there while I'm finding this card. Oh, here, there's the quick like one. I did it as a quick like too. Um, share. Copy. All right, hang on a minute. I'm, I'm like, come on, computer. All right, so hang on a minute. All right, so here is, I'm scrolling down. Paste. And, all right, so that. That link right there that I put, Karen, that should take you to the Wadley Adorable. Because I did this one already. I think, um, I'm trying to think if I did it twice. Because I know on one of them, I put some DSP. So anyways, but you'll find that one, okay? Um, all right, Jeannie, page 63, the blue card with the butterfly wreath. All right, so page 63. So, so Karen, we have good taste since I already did that one. All right, so page 63. So just if you go to that link, you don't have to go to that link now, but um, later. All right, so page 63, the blue card with the butterfly. Oh, right here, the fluttering by just to say hi. Is that the one that you're talking about, Jeannie? Oh, I do have to scoot down. No wonder I was scooted down. Because I have to be able to see in my phone. All right. Um, so that's going to be it. It's the only butterfly one. All right. So hold on. So page 63. It took me forever to figure out how I could look at both. And then there's this swirly thing on the bottom of my computer. And then that opened it up. I swear, every time my computer um, updates or whatever, they change things. Right now, when I scroll and stuff, it is crazy. All right, so here we go. Okay, Jeannie, this is Hippo Happiness Photopolymer Stamp Set. That's where the butterfly came from. And that is a cute butterfly. Isn't it funny? I've yet to use the Hippo Happiness Stamp Set. I've used, I think, a gre... Oh, I didn't even use a greedy. Um, but I use the dyes all the time. Okay, um, and then the paper is Flirty Flamingo, Balmy Blue, Basic White. It's a standard A2 card, so that's just a standard card. The ink is Versamark ink. So I'm like looking at that. Hang on a minute. Over, oh, because they, they must have embossed. Okay, so Versamark ink, 
They used it as Tuxedo Black Memento Ink Pad, the Flirty Flamingo Classic Ink Pad, Pumpkin Pie Pad, Daffodil Delight Pad, Blushing Rock Pad, yes, and then the Unink Stamp Pad and Whisper White Refill. So they must have posted both so you could use for some mark or that's what I'm just going by. Um, and they use sponge daubers, water painters, layering circle dies, rectangle stitched dies, the hippo and friends dies. I'm like looking at hippo. Oh, that maybe that's what that is. Plenty of patterns, decorative masks. So you can see that mask is back there. Oh, that's why they use that. Um, the sponge daubers and the whisper white craft is this. So that's where they got that white look. I'm going to scoot down so you can see better. In case you don't have your catalog, everybody. Um, so you can see they, they use the sponge dauber and the craft pad. And they use that mask. Scoot it more. Whoop, I don't want to break my stand. All right. And they just um, did that white through the mask. Um, let's see, embellishments. Oh, okay, so the embellishment is the very vanilla scallop lace trim. So you can see that underneath there. And the expressions in ink ephemera pad. Expressions in ink ephemera pack, rather. So that's probably where these little embellishments came from. So they colored the lace with the sponge dauber and the ink pad. All right. So what I think they did was this is how I figure things out. All right, so they used the layering circle dies and it just is, the technique was modifying ribbon or trim. So that wasn't, um, you know, that card is awesome. All right, so what I think they did, this is just me. All right, so what the circle die, so they, you know, die cut all these out. So that circle die is here underneath all those butterflies. And that just helps you make a butterfly wreath because you're just gluing them on that circle underneath there. So you don't see this circle die. Hey, Jackie. Um, so that circle, you know, so pretend that this was that circle die. And then you would do another one inside, so it would give you a ring, right? It would give you a ring, and then you would just glue all your little butterflies right onto that circle. And, and it's just very, it's basically there for a form, right? And to keep your that circle shape. All right, so that did that answer, Jeannie? Now this is me guessing, everyone, because if I'm not actually making it, that's when I usually go, oh, well, this is used there or, or whatever, whatever. So, so this is kind of, this is kind of fun. You're, you're giving my brain, you know, something to, to think about, you know, um, I, I, and I'm a very visual person. I don't know if that's, if you're the same way. That's why I love the mimeograph Mondays because I'm such a visual visual person so somebody can be explaining things on the phone like do this that and my mind just is like hearing womp, 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 you know because I have to see it I have to see it um so did that help okay cool 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 all right so I'm gonna put Jeannie's name with this one so maybe that's what I should do maybe that's what I'll do um Oh wait, this is Mimeograph Monday. Okay, never mind. Anyways, so what I'll do is I, if, if I make these cards up, maybe I'll send them to whoever asked the question. How's that would that would be fun, right? Yes, I, I don't know how people cannot be a visual. My my mind just doesn't. And I think maybe that's why math is hard for me because math is not visual. You know, math is. I don't know why. I don't like math. So anyway, so any other questions? Any other, any other, um, because that's what I might do. Once I get, because I'm going to be like so, like, ah, I can't wait to like do something, right? Maybe I'll be stamping up a storm. Tomorrow is my, um, 
Teach Me Tuesdays episode 100 and I had planned to do like something fun right for the hundredth and ugh, I can't do fun all right so anyways but um so yeah so any any other hopefully let me scroll up in case I missed while I was couldn't see the um the thingy all right oh that's good Cindy yeah Jeff's really good at at math and in his work they work with all sorts of um, fractions and I don't even know percentages and angles and uh, I mean I just when he talks about things I just want to cry because it's like I don't know how you do that um so anyways all right so let's see let's see um, I already showed that. So that's what I usually do when I get the catalogs. I just sit through and I just pull, like, go, oh my gosh, I have to make that card. Oh my gosh, I have to make that card. And the cards, even though the catalogs is amazing and the samples are amazing, there's still nothing like making it for real and having it, right? Because the real life thing. I wish I could find that one with the babies, but it, it sat on my shelf for the longest time. And if I could get up and walk, I probably could find it, but anyways. Uh, oh, hang on. We have another request. All right. Page 82, count on me bear card. Ooh, is that going to be um, the mirror one? Hang on a minute. Page 82. I'm just guessing. Is that the mirror image one? Page 82. So that's... I knew it! I knew it, Karen! So you mean the, the mirror image, right? Alright, so... Now what I would do is I use my silicone mat. But let me see what they say to use. Alright, so hold on a minute. Page 82... Let me get my mouse. I'm a mouse person. And it's not liking me using the catalog as a as a uh, mouse pad. Alright, so that was page 82. Hang on a minute. I gotta put my foot down. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Page 82, page 82, page 82. Scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, oh my gosh. Page 82. Okay, okay, let's see here. Um. So the techniques for this one, so this is the one Karen, are fussy cutting, mirror stamping, and watercoloring. So what you're gonna use is obviously the Count On Me Cling Set. The paper is shimmery white. And that's what I usually use if I'm gonna do watercoloring. Cause I'll stamp with the stays on, and then I'll watercolor. Um, or if you stamp on watercolor paper or whatever. If you're gonna color with the blends, then you wanna use the Memento. You do not want to use the stays on with the um, blends. All right. Um, all right, so the paper is shimmery white, crumb cake, granny apple green, and basic white. The ink is the stays on. The granny apple green classic, cinnamon cider classic, polished pink classic um the tools are the silicone craft sheet so that's what i said um the mini stamp and dimensionals the stamp and seal plus the water painters because they did watercolor you don't want to watercolor on the basic white or the basic white thick they just suck up the water too much and they start to peel so that's why you want to use the shimmery or the um, watercolor paper um, tasteful textile 3D embossing folder. Give it a whirl, dies. That's where the clouds come from. 
Um, that's the tasteful texture underneath there, the ground that they're on. And the stitched greenery die. So can you see that? That stitched greenery die. And then they just colored in the leaves. Super cute. All right, so let me go back to the YouTube. And let me try to explain it. And did I show it, Jackie? I can't remember. Did I show how to do that silicone mirror? I thought I did one time. Um, which paper do I prefer to use for water coloring? Um, I like the crisp image that the shimmery white paper gives. So that's usually one I grab too. But if you use watercolor paper, it allows you to move the color around more. But then you want to use the Stamparatus so that you can kind of stamp a couple times to get a nice black image. Um, just because that stays on pad, if you don't have the refill and you keep the lid off for any amount of time, it dries so quickly. Basically, the stays on pad is like a Sharpie marker. It's the same ink as a Sharpie marker. And if you leave the, the marker lid off, it dries, right? So that's, um, the stays on pad is the same way. So if you order a stays on pad, you get the refill. Um, so that's why I usually just grab the, the shimmery because it's flatter where the watercolor paper's got like some texture to it. Um, so sometimes you have to stamp a couple times. All right, so hang on. Oh, I showed it with the shark card. Okay, so hang on. Sorry late to join. So let me find that shark, um, yeah, so the silicone mat. I have a few silicone mats. I have one I cut up even, remember, to get my glue to get started. All right, so let me scroll down here a little bit. Um, my videos. All right, so hold on. Let's see. I should, should have Jackie find it. All right, so hang on here. I'm looking for the shark, and that was a few months ago. Um, cause I did, um, I did a boy shark and a girl shark, but we really just had the shark went in one direction. Oh, here it is. Is this a quick, here we go. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to sh share, copy, all right, go back to my channel. All right, so here is, hold on, I gotta wait for it to load. All right, so hold on a minute. Thank you, Jackie. See, my sister has a better memory than me. All right, so there is, okay. Okay, so Karen, there was the link that will take you, it won't take you to the bear, but it's basically the same technique. Um. They just cut them out, and I and I didn't I didn't cut the sharks out, so they just cut them out. But that's going to give you the, you know, a right and a left. Um, yeah, it was a boy, and I gave it to Jeff. It was like a I love you card, so I gave it to Jeff. You have such a good memory. Hey, Mary. Um, well, Mary, I'm not really back in action at all, and it's driving me not. It's driving me a little bonkers. That's okay, Karen. That's okay. Um, it's that to me, the mirror, I would consider the mirror, you know, technique. I would consider that an advanced technique, right? It's not one that, you know, as soon as someone starts to stamp, you're going to go, hey, look at this. Hey, because it would just go over the person's head because they're still learning stuff, right? You don't want to overwhelm them. But, um, but that's how, and once you do it, then it's like, oh, okay, you know. So um, so anyway, so definitely look at that link um, and just do it with with the um, with the bears. But you can do it with anything, right, if that you want, like, a, them to look at each other. Um, oh, yeah, Jackie, I think it was. And I think you, you um, I think, Jackie, you even asked about this card, and then I ended up just doing it with the sharks. So, um, let's see here. Oh, I'm, I wish I was back in that action, Mary. Wednesday, I go back to the doctor Wednesday and hopefully they unwrap. 
this leg and then I go into the boot, but still no weight on it. But I really hope that I can at least like lay on the bed with my foot up with nothing on it. Like if I'm not doing anything, just have that, that bare leg. Cause, oh, it's just not, I know there's much more serious, much more sicker people in the world. So you don't want to hear me moan and groan when, you know, in a month, hopefully I'll be all good as new. All right. Um, I love that answering questions. <laughs> I love it. Um, I know. Well, thank you, Mary. Um, let's see. Um, take some time. Yes, it, yes, I did a number. I did do a number, and I don't want to mess it up. I had an ache in my foot the other night. I'm like, oh my gosh, has something happened? And Jeff's like, well, it's probably from where they had to pull the tendons back, you know, to sew them back together. Like, and maybe it's healing. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just like, I hope I didn't, you know, mess it up. Because when I dream, I, you know, you move around. So anyways, but. Um, all right. So anybody else want to see have a question about any of the um I know, look how cute this card is too look how cute this one is and this is what i love about looking at the catalog so this is really fun let's look this one up so that's page 82 so that's i'll still have that same page so hang on a minute so let's see what dye that was used so hang on page 82 because that is super cute all right so this one right here is a square three inch. But when I'm looking at it visually, that doesn't look like a three by three. But it could be, right? It's just the angle of the photograph. But that's why usually when I'm making them, then I realize, oh, okay, that is a whatever, whatever. All right. So that's the whale done photopolymer. The paper is pool party and basic white. The inks are apple green or granny apple green. Pacific Point and Polished Pink. And see, that looks so much lighter than Polished Pink, right? Um, mini Stampin' Dimensionals. Rectangular Postage Stamp Punch. So what they have done, they have modified the punch. So let me get to the punches. Hold on a minute. What else does it say? Artistry Blooms Adhesive Back Sequence. Okay. So don't look at me. I turned right to the punch. All right. So that's this punch right here. So what they did was they took the punch and then they they stamped, you know, big deal. You know, they stamped big deal and then they just moved the punch and punched out just that spot for the big deal. And then they stamped all the um, pictures and then they just moved the punch around. I might have to make that card too. I know no one requested it, but it's stinking cute. And so what I love is this could be any stamp set any this could be a christmas card you know not with a set but i mean like just use that same technique all right so let's see here big deal postage postage stamp posted punch all right so i'm going to stick that on my catalog too all right let me go back to the YouTube. All right. So anyway, so I think I have to do that one too. Because that is super cute. And even this right here, right? Okay, so look at this right here. So this page has got lots going on. This is a bit, this is a fun page. So this has got that diorama die going on. And they've even, um... Looks like they've embossed it for some texture. Love that. But this one is actually two dies. So look at it. It's got the hippo. I believe that's the hippo die. And then this die. So there's like two. So it's over top. So it gives you a totally different shape. So isn't that cute? That one's super cute too. So anyways. But... So yeah, 
So if you have any questions on anything, just let me know. Just um, look at these crazy fingernails. Um, just um, make sure you reach out and let me know, right? Because then I can um, tell you how it was done, send you the recipe. And don't forget the sale that starts on the 20th. I will see you tomorrow for my Teach Me Tuesday. Hopefully I'll have a better morning. And um, so I can play around a little bit with you. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, but, so thanks so much. I hope so. I mean, maybe I should do more of these uh, um, kind of questiony, you know, things. Just give you more, more of a warning, right? But, um, so make sure you go to my blog. I will put the post down below, down below here, um, to the blog post so that you can print out the flyer. So you can work on your, um, <clears throat> shopping list so that you can shop bright and early on the 20th. It's 24 hours only. Um, so anyways, but if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me, okay? And, um, have a great night and, um... I will see you tomorrow. And hopefully I'll I'll have I won't be such a sad sack looking tomorrow and I'll be able to like actually see you for real. <laughs> All right. Um have a great night everyone. See ya.